Hey, it's Connor here in Dublin for Christmas and one of the gifts that I received this Christmas, the philosophy book. And I'm going to read for you three entries from the philosophy book as this uh, week's video. So we were at the horse races today and uh, luckily neither me nor any of my kids uh, won anything at the races. I think the, the worst thing you can do is win money gambling. So handily we lost all the money that was bet on the horses today. So three entries from the philosophy book, one of the gifts given to me by my family here in Dublin. The first, act as if what you do makes a difference. Uh, this is from William James, 1842. This theory is that if you are in a forest and there's a path, you can believe that the path is unlikely to lead to anything and decide not to follow it. Or you could decide that the path may lead to food or may lead to shelter or may lead to something and you decide, I'm gonna believe that this path leads somewhere useful. And therefore you follow the path and you find food. And what William James said is to choose to believe in things and take action based on the action begins to make the belief true. So what's, what's important is to act as if your action and your belief that your action serves a purpose is important. Because if you act with intent to achieve an outcome, it's highly likely that with intelligent action over time, you will achieve that outcome. So act as if what you do makes a difference. Second, John Dewey. We only think when we are confronted with problems. And this goes in the line of a series of videos that I've made recently where we talk about life is problems. Uh, and you know, wishing for a life without problems, wishing for a life of ease, wishing for a life where you win the lottery and all the problems are taken away, would essentially be, be a life where you don't grow. Uh, I wish we as human beings learned and grew when we didn't need to. But my experience, 44 years of life, 40,000 students through my classes at ES is people change when the pain gets too great. When the pain is there, when the problem is there, is when we start to try and change our beliefs about something, try and see different things, see different paths, ask questions. But it's only when the problem is there that we're really forced to readjust the mental models that have got us to here. So we only think when we are confronted with problems. And finally, we're gonna to go to Japan. And this is the individual's only true moral choice is through self-sacrifice for the community. And this is a Japanese philosopher called Tetsuru Watsuji. Uh, any Japanese there can probably tell me how to improve my pronunciation. But uh, what, uh, Tetsuro was saying is that a lot of Western philosophy looked at the self, looked at me, looked at understanding who I am through an analysis within. Uh, I think therefore I am was uh, Descartes' original call to philosophy. And what Tetsuro is saying is the search isn't within, there's no answer to be found within. The answer is to be found in sacrificing yourself for the good of others for your family, for others on a battlefield. But uh, I, I think this idea that all meaningful action is self-sacrifice for a goal that is bigger than yourself. Self-sacrifice, giving up of something of yours for a greater goal, a goal that isn't bigger than your ego, your victory, your win. Uh, so our final one here, what cause as you think through the end of 2017, we're moving to through 2018. What's your cause? What's the struggle, this, this social need that you would be willing to, to give in order to achieve for other people? The, the only true moral choice is through self-sacrifice for the community. Who are your community? And what is the sacrifice you would be willing to make to, to take away a pain that other people face. Have a great, uh, this gap between Christmas and New Year. Uh, real pleasure to speak to you. Thank you again. 
It's interesting, my last week's video, What I Say When I Have Nothing to Say, is one of the videos that received the most views in the first week since publishing. So clearly the message from you guys is prepare less and, and just speak a bit more. But I'd love to hear what was it about last week's video, what I say when I don't have anything to say, that made it something that people shared so much more than some of the other prepared educational videos. Anyway, have a great week. I hope you got the gifts you wanted for Christmas here. Clearly my family know me well. The philosophy book. Have a good one.